You love stuff in outer space, right? Of course Here's I do. Here's a man do. from outer space right here. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not Dr. quite Sky. from outer Either. space. We love when Dr. Sky yeah, visits, and you're visiting you. because there's something really cool happening today. This is very rare. Thank you very much. And folks, do not stare directly at the sun with your telescope. What we have right here, as you can see in this live shot, where my pen is pointing to on the disk of the sun, there's Mercury, and there's a sunspot. Now, what's interesting about this, this phenomenon only happens once every maybe 13 times a century. Wow. Jeez. And though it may seem insignificant, the important part of this whole segment, I think, is to warn people not to look directly at the sun. Once again, there's Mercury, there's a sunspot. So the sun is about 865,000 miles well, across. Just briefly, can you, how are you able to project that? That yeah. is a special piece of equipment we don't have. Well, this is a regular telescope. Oh, it is. But the light of the sun is not filtered. So what you don't want to do is ever stare through here. So if we can actually bring our piece of paper just a little closer, if he continues to get closer and closer oh, on yeah, here, yeah, 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 you yeah, would yeah, set yeah. that on fire. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, could you imagine what would happen to your to eyes? Your so eye. here's the safest way to view this, the simplest way is to go on the internet, drsky.com. We have many links and there's many other links mm -hmm. to a live shot of what's happening as you're seeing here. But since we're out here, the day is beautiful. The day is just beginning. Mercury transits the sun. It takes about seven hours for this planet to cross the sun, oh, wow. which is unusual in itself. Remember, Mercury, the smallest of all the regular planets, the satellite Ganymede of Jupiter is actually larger than the planet Mercury. Mm -hmm. But what's so important about this is the rarity of what happens. Venus transits are even more of a spectacular thing. And people around the world have even done crazier things than this. The celebration of the Venus transit wow, in 2004. Wow, they made their own beer? They got a bottle of beer with them? They have complimentary <laughs> things like this. And for those in astrology, of course, we respect your opinions about how to survive Mercury in retrograde, because wow. Mercury, according to the astro astrology world, is the communication planet. So this goes on, folks, for about another five hours and a very interesting phenomenon. Check us out at drsky.com to learn much more. There's Mercury, rare to see, never stare through the telescope. And the gold telescope, which we could set up after, is a telescope that views directly to the sun safely. You can look through that. It has filters in it. They're very, very high-end filter, so it's amazing stuff. You gave me a filter once to look at uh, an eclipse. How are your eyes? Yeah, uh, they're fine. <laughs> <bought. laughs> uh, Can you however, see? <laughs> you can't use that to look at Mercury because it's so small. Exactly, and okay. don't stare directly at the sun. Yeah. Watch okay. it on the internet. Okay. It's we'll an go, amazing We'll, we'll go watch do... it on your website later yeah, today. Yeah, just well, go to your you. website. Absolutely, yeah. check okay. drsky.com. Thank you, Andrea. Thank you, Ray. Nice great, seeing you as great always. Pocket square, by the way. Hey, Looks thank you. And you always look stylish. And <laughs> Andrea, pleasure. Oh, thank always you. a pleasure yeah, to see you. Let me look in hey, here Ron. for a second here and see. How... Oh my! Look at that. Don't you burn look your eye out.